Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bad bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellow1Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfellow since you get 18% off. We out. Well, it's looking more and more likely that Manny Pacquiao might have signed with McGregor management team. Now, exactly, I don't know what that would mean. Obviously, uh, most people think one plus one equals two in this situation, which means he would be fighting McGregor next. But I do know Floyd Mayweather has talked about with drink champions that uh with drink champs that he may fight Khabib and McGregor in the same night. Um, I doubt uh, any commission would allow that to happen. They would have to go to Saudi Arabia. Or something like that for that to happen. But if Pacquiao truly is going to run the fade with McGregor. Um, then it looks like uh, if they allow him to hold on the belt and defend it versus Conor McGregor. That undisputed may be that much harder to obtain for Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Jamal James, Rashidi Ellis, Josita Lopez. The name goes on and on in the welterweight division. So let's talk about the scenario. We back Goodfellas Sports TV. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And um, yeah, what I'm hearing is people at Premier Boxing Champions, they have reached out to Pacquiao and they have gotten no um, rebuttal, no return from Pacquiao about uh, his status. I do understand that his contract is up with the television series and the management and advisory contract with Al Heyman Sports, uh, Al Heyman Sports and with Premier Boxing Champions. So he is free to do whatever he's going to do. Now, I heard it was illegal for Conor McGregor's management team to announce a fight, to announce a signing that hasn't happened. So uh, they announced it from everything of my knowledge. Pacquiao hasn't yet to, to talk about it on social media, but I do understand that Pacquiao could sue if they uh, if they lied about the situation. But Pacquiao hasn't had a social media presence regarding uh any of the information that's been said about him signing to the promotional company he hasn't gotten back to premier boxing champions probably the only person that truly knows would be al Heyman, and we know he doesn't speak to the media you have to get all your premier boxing champions from uh news from everybody up under al um or mayweather who is his equal which he ain't saying much uh the day these days he did go on drink champs and he said that he is uh, a boss in pbc and he does run Premier Boxing Champion. So when that episode is released, we talk more about that. But he confirmed, you know, what people what Errol Spence lied about many years ago, a couple years ago. Premier, uh, Floyd Mayweather does make moves. He is an equal to Al Heyman. I got that from people at PBC, the top of the food chain. So um, PBC is by as all the investors, Al Heyman and Floyd Mayweather, and then everything falls, you know, from the chain of command to Sam to Sylvia to. Tim Smith and you know everybody else. So Floyd, all the investor money, which is represented by Al Heyman, basically, and Al is the top of the food chain, and everybody else falls up under there in the Watson twins, Sam and Sylvia, and, and her husband, and all the way down. All right, so that's just how it's rocking. Okay, but you know with everybody screaming undisputed, if Earl Spence can't get that WBA belt, um, he can't get all his, the belts, which he did. From everything I heard, he turned down a Manny Pacquiao fight. And maybe that's why Pacquiao chose to go on the other side and fight Conor McGregor or do whatever the McGregor management team wants him to do. But Premier Boxing Champion is not working with other networks and platforms right now. I'm not sure what McGregor management team can do for Pacquiao. That's what clarity I need for it. It's been rumors that Manny Pacquiao could sign to the zone. All right? He could sign to the zone. And i just let you know this rumor. Like I said, it's a rumor. So people don't hang on to it like it's factual. But what's being said is that Eddie Hearn is trying to um, make a fight in Saudi Arabia with Terrence Crawford. All right. They're trying to do Terrence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao in Saudi Arabia. So that could be a game changer. Now, the Chris Van Deer stuff, I'm not sure. I heard some talks about it can happen in South America. I heard some people behind the scenes say that's the talks. I haven't really got it confirmed from anybody else. But I have heard that. Uh, the zone is making a run at Manny Pacquiao. So maybe McGregor management team is going to facilitate that with the zone. Um, we do know Mayweather can swoop in and fight McGregor and take it from Pacquiao. Only reason Pacquiao went to Premier Boxing Champions in the first place, one of the reasons was to chase a Floyd Mayweather fight 
so he can retire comfortably. And one of the second reasons were so he can come back to the United States because he had some issues uh, with some org- federal government organizations, which Al Heyman helped him um, get that freedom and was able to step into the United States, where Bob Arum couldn't help him the way Al did, all right? Also, it's being said out there that they just don't have the guaranteed money uh, for Pacquiao. They can't guarantee the high purses, which is he's guaranteed $20 million a, per- a fight minimum. No matter if it's a one pay-per-view or a million pay-per-views minimum, he was guaranteed 20 and they're having a hard time guaranteeing those minimums where the zone can give them the money up front. Now, could you see a scenario where Manny Pacquiao, now I haven't heard nothing about this, but could you hear a scenario where Manny Pacquiao could fight Mikey Garcia and then fight a Terrence Crawford and McGregor later in the year? Yeah, I heard it was talks that uh, the zone may have tried to put on Pacquiao and, and 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 uh and Garcia last year they something they might do so don't be surprised if you see Mikey and Manny get into the ring on the zone if Mikey get past Jesse Vargas a week after uh Deontay takes on Tyson Fury so um it's a lot of things going on a lot of moving pieces going around going on behind the scenes I'm hearing that he may be talking to the zone um obviously the management company won't stop that then if he go to the zone for a one fight deal or two fight deal and then he fights McGregor. That's something they can talk about. So, like I said, it's a lot going on. But one of the things that's a major thing going on that, you know, hardcore boxing fans or fans that try to act like they're hardcore pure, some of you man fans out there too, is that what happens to the WBA belt? Does Pacquiao defend it versus Mikey and then defend it versus Crawford? Does they does the WBA allow him to defend it versus Conor McGregor? And I think enough money in that fight, they'll love the percentage from McGregor and Pacquiao. Remember McGregor said – he wanted to get a world title in boxing. You know what I'm saying? So does McGregor and Pacquiao fight for the WBA belt? And if that happened, this super WBA title that he has now, since he beat Keith Thurman, it doesn't have a mandatory for 18 months. So him and Keith Thurman fought last July. So they won't have another mandatory till at least December. All right? December or January. He, he, he get an extension. It could be longer than that. So you see Pacquiao holding on this belt until 2020. 2021, excuse me. So Earl Spence, it ain't no, you know, undisputed for him. And then he said if he don't get all three belts, then there's no point of fighting Terrence Crawford. So if they can get Pacquiao stripped of the belt and Boos Putin come clean, they probably order Boos Putin and Yugas again for the Super WBA belt. Now, Yugas was ordered to fight Boos Putin for the regular WBA belt, but uh, Premier Boxing Champions talked him to turning that opportunity down. Which he fought Mike Dallas, and then he's going. He was promised a title shot down the line from Premier Boxing Champions. All right, which end up uh, being a bad situation because Boost Putin ended up failing the drug test. So if Boost Putin failed the drug test, then Yugas could have got the belt versus somebody else. More likely, it could have been Danny Garcia. It could have been Mikey Garcia. All the first four or five people in the ranking system, other than the gold champion or title holder, is Vigil Ortiz. So. Yugas could have got the belt, the regular belt, from somebody else, so he would have been positioned to be the super champion. So then PBC still would control three of the belts. Now, with uncertainty about what happened with Alex Zander Boost Putin and his drug test, if he is exonerated, like Alvier Uterman was exonerated, and it was somebody else recently that got a slap on the wrist and was exonerated. Bermay Severn in the past got a slap on the wrist. So if Boost Putin still maintains his regular WA title, then Boost Putin and Yugas is something that order for the super title. But then again, Manny Pacquiao has to relinquish the belt. We know the sanction of belt bodies do not, is not about making less money. Anytime you consolidate belts, it's less it's less of a percentage for each sanction of belt body. So they probably gonna hold on to Pacquiao belt. You know, my guess is Pacquiao will probably fight Mikey if he beat Vargas. Then he probably fight McGregor or Crawford if that is true, and then the belt go up for vacant. But it's it could mess up the timeline per se because. Errol Spence will have to uh, uh, mandatory 90 days after his fight with Danny Garcia next is what they're saying, unless they do a Hail Mary attempt and make Earl and Manny, which I think Manny is already gone. Uh, I heard it's 50% chance he's actually gone. But if the, the management company lied about it, then Pacquiao can sue. So it's a messy situation. But it sounds like he's gone. Could be just a rumor. Could be wrong. But uh, Errol Spence still has to defend his IBF title 90 days after the Danny Garcia fight which I'm not sure what the date going to be for that. Maybe June, maybe July. But that's going to be on pay-per-view now that Errol Spence turned down a Pacquiao fight. So then Errol Spence will have to fight the Lipinets or Qdoba winner. Um, Qdoba, we call him. I can't pronounce his name. Qdoba Dev. 
the guy that beat Luis Colazo. So they have fight, and then he had to defend that mandatory 90 days after that, and then uh, maybe give him a small extension. So you're probably looking at, I don't know, him and uh, the Olympians and Kidobo or whoever won the IBF interim title sometime in November, maybe a little bit earlier than that if they get that extension uh, or later. And then, you know, after that, then he can go after, you know, the WBA title, depending on who get it. So Pacquiao, it seems like he going to hold up the division by holding that title. I heard this was his last year actually competing in the square circle and knowing that Mayweather won't fight him. He going to get his money through the zone or through fighting Conor McGregor or whatever the situation may be. Um, so the WBA belt probably going to be tied up for the rest of this year. And then the top of next year, you may see some order for that. Keep in mind, Keith Thurman is no longer ranked in the WBA title as well. So Danny Garcia probably going to fall out the rankings once he get beat by Earl Spence and fight Earl Spence if he win it. Of course, he's going to be out the rankings because, you know, they don't rank other alphabet champions. He will hold the WBC IBF championship belts or title belts. So, yeah, it's a lot going on. So I think Pacquiao is probably going to halt undisputed. But if he fights Terrence Crawford, it's a different ball game. Then Crawford got the WBA, WBO belt. Then Earl got two belts. But I anticipate Earl is probably going to move up out of the division if Pacquiao was gone. It's nobody to hide behind no more. It's no excuse to hide behind. If, if Crawford somehow retains two belts um, or if Ugas get the belt, you know, then I think there's no point in fighting Ugas, fighting Crawford. I think you might see a situation with Earl a, a move up, and that would be his excuse saying that the politics stop him from being undisputed. And it may per se not be a lie because there's never been a four belt undisputed welterweight champion before 2006 or 2009. You only needed three belts. Can't remember exactly what year. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video request. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash out, PayPal. Also in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. And all my social media is there from Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My email if you ever need to reach out. Just touch the title. All that uh, open up or hit the drop down box. All that will open up, man. And you can email me. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Email is the quickest way. If you need to get in touch for a question, business, inquiry, video, request, or sponsorship, appreciate the love, support. Let me know what you guys think about the video. And, um, yeah, don't like Undisputed going to happen uh, once again. But, hey, 